What's going on guys? We are back with another pop report update. This is going to be for September 6th through September 12th. This is the update number 17. So I've been doing this for over four months now, going on five months. Uh, for those of you who are new here, I, I am keeping weekly, daily tabs on uh, PSA uh, pop counts as well as um, HGA, PGX, and then newly added, I added Forensic Grading Company and the Transparent Grading Team TGT as well. So we'll go ahead and start off with PGX, Peer Graded X. So no change to Peer Graded X. They have not updated their pop report since May and uh, they're still stuck at 396 cards on their pop report so if uh, if anyone knows what's going on with them please let me know because at this point i have no idea if they're even grading cards at this point uh, moving on to hga hga graded a total of 7187 cards this week this is a uh, this is not bad right but if we go back and we look at how many cards they've been grading this is actually the lowest number of cards they, they have graded in six weeks so this is the, the, the lowest count of cards they have graded in a week in the last six weeks so just keep that in mind whenever you decide you want to grade with a certain uh, grading company um, at the end of the day we want to make sure that whoever you're grading with if you're looking at it for long-term investment or just uh, overall just uh, ROI um, that the company you're grading with will be around right so you don't want to be grading with someone who's not going to be here in the next 6 12 months you know a couple years that they're going to be on you know on out of business so just keep that in mind guys whenever you grade with someone but yeah, HGA graded total of 7,187 cards. And so we will continue to keep track on how they're doing. Moving on to Forensic Grading Company. Uh, they're kind of a new kid on the block. They're out of South Lake, I believe, uh, near Dallas. Um, I've seen a few of their videos. I've seen the owner interview with some people. And, um, they, they are grading a lot of cards uh, this week. They graded a total of 681 cards, bringing their pop report total to 1,326. So again, I mean, they, they are grading quite a bit. I think they are, um, you know, they're kind, kind of catching fire and they're kind of catching their own uh, fan base. So uh, good for them. Hopefully they're able to continue to grow and expand their operation. Moving on to Transparent Grading Team, another new kid on the block. Uh, they graded a total of 65 cards this week, or at least that's what their pop report increased by. Uh, started the week at 397 and ended the week at 462 cards on their pop report. So, nice little increase for TGT. Moving on to PSA. Uh, PSA graded a total of 162,199 cards this week. So out of uh, 162, uh, 62,579 were basketball, which led the way this week. Uh, that was a decrease of, of almost 1,500 from last week. Um, also, uh, the total count of 162,000 for the week is a, a decrease of uh, over 17,000 from prior week so keep that in mind guys I know last week we talked about uh, PSA grading um, 180,000 almost 180,000 um, and this week they're down to 162 so keep that in mind whenever you hear people talk about uh, pre-national levels or if they are grading I know I hear I see a lot on Facebook talking about PSA is grading 35,000 cards per day which is absolutely not true uh, they are not grading 35,000 as we see here they graded 162,000 this week which is not uh, 35,000 
right? Um, the only way I see that they're counting this in a way is that if they don't include the weekends, right? Saturday and Sunday, then it's uh, five days by 162, so it's about 100, about 30. 2000 so maybe they're not including the two days on the you know the weekend days when they do the 35,000 per day perhaps that's how they're calculating that um, so going back to uh, their weekly output so baseball they had 42,888 cards this week which is an increase of 394 cards from prior week the big drop off was with trading card game cards, TCG. They graded a total of 30,795 cards this week, which is a significant drop of 12,591 cards from last week. So that's where they saw a lot of their decrease this week was in TCG. Football graded this week was 17,847. Uh, which is also a decrease of 3,374 from last week. And soccer this week graded 6,623, which is not bad. Um, and then hockey ended the week at 1,346 cards graded. And lastly, golf uh, cards graded was 121 cards. So not that much golf is being graded. So um, again, guys, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, I just want to make this video not short and sweet this week. Uh, I'm not trying to spend a whole lot of time on this, but I did want to just put this out there so in case anyone is interested in um, keeping up with the updates. Uh, I do have the link. Uh, I'll put the link in the um, comments section and you could go in there and check it out for you know do your own research and whatnot but just keep in mind that when um, PSA dropped the price September 9th from PSA Express from 200 to 150 per card um, I do believe we're going to see some significant uh, drop in uh, production from them and uh, we will be able to determine what that drop is in the next few weeks or couple months so but that's it guys uh, maybe sometime in the next few days I'll do a video about what I project the backlog to be uh, but for now um, 162,000 that's what they graded this week all right guys take care be safe out there talk to you later